What is up everybody? Today we are down at the Porte Jetty. We're waiting for these bait shops to open up, man. I want to throw some live shrimp out there pretty bad. We're out here about 6.30. They open up at 8. But got a casting spoon. We can go try to, you know, see if we can catch a ladyfish or something to use as cut bait. But besides that, man, it's kind of a waiting game. Uh, weather's pretty choppy right now, pretty windy. That should die down within an hour. So kind of just gonna take our chances, man. See what, see what we can pull out of here as far as bait. But I went down to the end of the jetty yesterday, hooked onto something. Don't know if it was a big trout or big ladyfish, but um, they're out here, man. The waters, you know, there's some swells, but we ought to have some good luck. So stay tuned, enjoy. Um, hopefully we catch some fish to cook on the beach, man, because I really want to do a catch and cook. So that might be in the near future later on today. So stay tuned, enjoy, have a good day. We got something on. Let's see what it is. Big old red drum. Holy cow. Hey man, could you do me a favor? I got a drum, I got a drum on here, but I was gonna see if you could either hold this or um, while I grab my net. Feels big. I'm gonna leave my drag set kinda. Yeah. I'm gonna let him go with it for a minute, but. Might be all right if I just. Well, I'll make sure that you're uh, awesome. Thank you, man. I just figured I'd try this spot because I haven't been having luck over at the... I haven't been having luck at the jetty. Man, he's a good size red. I caught black drum. They were this big, but... Yeah. Look at that red. Beautiful. Thank you, man. Hey, no problem, bud. Wow. You gotta eat him or put him back? He's big enough, I'm gonna use my tag that I got. If they're a certain, uh, if they're big enough, you can, you can keep them past a certain limit. I either 
caught him on, I either caught him on dead shrimp or, or on mullet. Go for it. He's 33 inches. On that part? Yeah. I think 25 pound test. Really? Yeah. If I give you, if I give you, my, it was, I just had to exhaust him. This guy came over and helped me out. Damn it. Yeah, I measured the. What'd you get? What? They're too big. They're over 28. You're supposed to let them go so they can make babies. Oh, okay. Can you use a tag? One of those tags? Got one? I got one. Tag that sucker. We had a successful trip down here to the coast. Port A is amazing. We've been fishing this channel. That's where we caught this red. It's basically a highway for fish, man. This is how they get into the bay and out of the bay. So we had really good luck here, but I'm pleased. Besides that, we didn't catch a whole lot of variety. Caught that one decent sized drum. I caught a trout out at the jetty, but besides that, man, um, the fishing's been slow, but I'm pleased that we caught that red. I'm anxious to come back down here in a couple months and kind of fish this area a little bit more in depth, take the kayak out. It's just crazy, man. That freeze that we got basically killed off a lot of the mangroves that are in this bay, a lot of these areas that these fish seek refuge in, which hopefully these mangroves will recover, will come back from this in a couple months, you know, things will start to thrive again. These fish will start to be more active, routine, feeding a lot more um, but besides that we did catch one decent sized fish that red drum was about 33 to 34 inches and used our tag for it I'm pleased that I got to use that tag that came on my fishing license if y'all catch a fish that big a red drum and y'all use you use y'all's tags y'all can send them in and they will send if you send your tag in they will send you back another tag so that you can fish later on in the season, which I did not know, which is interesting. But besides that, man, hope you all enjoyed the channel. Hope you all are enjoying these videos that we're putting out. Um, stay tuned, more coming y'all's way. But I just wanted to thank y'all for all the support and liking and subscribing to my channel. This is what I do, this is my hobby. I like to come out here and just fish and enjoy life. So hope y'all are all doing the same and hopefully you know what I'm doing can kind of like teach y'all I'm new to it myself so I'm not too sure how to do these things but over time man it's interesting just gathering information from these people that do this a lot and know what they're doing I always ask these people I always ask these old dudes I'm like hey like what what do y'all do to catch these redfish where do y'all target um, the most helpful information that I've found is to find the red drum in areas that are calm because they're trying to reserve energy and they're very slow. So find some calm water and you will find some red drum. But stay tuned, more coming y'all's way. I hope y'all enjoy it. Tight lines.